America, the land of the rich and home of the brave. Right? Wrong! It depends who you ask, mate. <laughs> History, as we know it, has been written by the victors, obscured by the rich and the powerful. We all know of this Italian Super Mario looking, mother loving, son of a gun, Christopher Columbus. This is the guy who discovered the US while there were still people living inside it. His tale is biased, romanticized and a tiny bit exaggerated. Well very much exaggerated. In fact, it's pretty much all wrong. All the points that I've mentioned here are from Howard Zen's book called A People's History of the United States. I really do recommend that book and everything that I'm saying guys is not from me. The Muslim bearded guy with the hat. It's actually from Howard Zen's book. As we know Christopher Columbus was an Italian guy but he went on behalf of Spain. So when he finally reached the Bahamas he saw the Arawak tribe and here's what he says and I quote With 50 men we could subjugate them all and make them do whatever. That doesn't really sound like a really amazing guy. Number two he raped women and he pillaged villages. When I say he, I mean him and the people who he went with. Number three, he sent back hundreds of Arawak tribesmen, the strong ones of course, not the weak ones, back to Spain to spend the rest of their lives working as slaves. Him and his people were known for child labor. In fact, in a space of only three months, 7,000 children passed away in mines and some the hands were chopped off. Number five, when him and his cronies went to these people and asked for copper and gold in particular and these people were unable to provide them, they were either beheaded or the hands were lobbed off. In over a hundred years over 250,000 natives were killed. Then about 200 years later pretty much all of them were wiped out. Now in the 17th century the English popped up. Now these guys wiped out two major tribes. I don't know if I'm gonna get the pronunciation correct but here goes. The Powhatan tribe and the Pico tribes. These guys were wiped out in the 17th century and when asked later they said wait this was necessary for progress. If this isn't worse than ISIS, I don't know what is mate. And one of the techniques that they had was distributing smallpox infested blankets to tribesmen and when they used them they passed away. To such a degree that in an island of Massachusetts 3,000 tribesmen were whittled down to only 313. This is using biological weapons mate. ISIS don't even have biological weapons but it's all right because we're living in England mate. God save the queen and all that and we need to be patriotic and if we're not patriotic and if we don't accept the fact that it's necessary for progress then I'm afraid your ISIS and the terrorist sympathizer. All right guys why did I call this video ISIS founded the US? Well today we hate ISIS because they are beheading people, they're chopping hands off, they are you know having no regard for innocent people and many other reasons mate. And to be honest when you look at the people who founded America, Christopher Columbus and the English and of course the Dutch, we can also see similarities. In fact the actions that were done then were much worse than ISIS. These are a few facts that I found again in A People's History by Howard Zen. I highly recommend that book, check that out. There's many other stuff that this guy did. Don't be a slave of what you are told in the mainstream media. Look at alternative media and read for yourself. Make that a passion that you have and your kids have. Alright guys until next time, Asalaamu As Alaikum.